Hi everyone, I'm Eric. And I'm Christopher. And we're Grow For Me Gardening. Today we are discussing must-have garden supplies for fall. Welcome to our garden here in zone 5B slash 6A, upstate New York. It's hard to believe, but winter is coming. And where we garden, that means we've got to start thinking about ensuring success heading into these cooler months. So we wanted to share with you some of our must have items that we are using in our garden. Yes, yeah, so we've partnered with Gardener Supply that is located up in Burlington, Vermont. They also share some cooler winters. So we have in here some plant protection items and we're gonna unbox that with you today and show you what we're gonna be using to protect things like macrophylla hydrangeas, and anything else that we, you know, is a little on the tender side for our zone that we want to see come through the winter looking beautiful. So let's get in here. You get in there and I'll tell them why we're gonna protect these macrophylla hydrangeas. We have recently fallen in love with the macrophylla hydrangeas. And you know, before I used to be like, oh, they're princess plants. I don't want something that's gonna be that high maintenance in our garden. But they're so beautiful that I think it's worth taking the time to go through and protect some of our favorites, like Let's Dance Sky View. Yes. Let's Dance Lovable. Let's Dance Can Do, my personal favorite. <laughs> so what is in this box? Do I need so to do the, anything for you? Nope. The first thing that's coming out of this box is a garden quilt. This is 12 my, by 20. Yes, this is a 12 by 20 garden quilt. And what we're doing with this we're actually going to be using something in a different box. Do you want to do that next? Yes, let me get up into that one and I'll explain what's in this big tall thing. This is called a super hoop. It's a really cool way that you can make a temporary low tunnel. So instead of like a big, huge, you know, planting tunnel, this is the low version. And instead of putting a shade fabric over it. Oh, I see what we're going to do. We're going to make a tunnel over our let's, not let's dance. Oh my goodness. Tough stuff, top Tough fun. stuff, top fun. Oh, and this will bend. Bends into the ground. We'll make a, we'll line them up over the tough stuff, top fun. And cover it with this garden quilt. And that's gonna give that water permeable, light permeable cover that will protect, I believe they said to 28 degrees Fahrenheit. And frankly, sometimes that's the difference. The difference between 30 degrees in the, you know, February, March, and that 28 degree temperature, that's what's gonna nip those buds. That's what's gonna get the buds. It's what tricks them in the springtime is when we have those warm days and they start to push those buds a little bit and then they get nipped. And then I think also in this box to complete this set of garden cover, these, the clips to hold it yeah. on. So the little clips, these um, fit perfectly onto the metal. They'll hold the garden quilt on there. And then we should have some success with our top funds on their first bloom, because they do do some beautiful reblooming. Later. Yes, they do. And they're babies still, and that's yes. part of the reason why we want to protect them. Do they need to be protected? No, even if they did get nipped by the frost, they yeah, would totally okay. come back and we'd get flowers, but we're kind of, you know, greedy for blooms. So that's what we're going to do. Fun part about those super hoops is they do have an extension kit, so we can hold on to this. And in a couple of years, if those hydrangeas get too big, we could make the hoop a little bit bigger. Oh, isn't that fancy? That will come in handy. Ooh, you know what's coming up next? The Planket. The Planket, this is something, this was Eric's genius idea. The Planket is a 10-foot circular plant protector. Show them protector. what it looks like first. Ta-da! <laughs> so, and what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna put this over traditionally things like a rhododendron and azalea that you have in the garden that you don't want to get like the small branches hit mm -hmm. with um, heavy snow. It kind of, div oh, what did they say? It um, It's breathable, it lightweight, durable fabric, ideal for plants, four feet tall to four feet wide, mm -hmm. draws strength for snug security, easy to store, water resistant. And it spreads out the weight of a heavy snow. But in this case, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna put this over our Jensen urn that has the very tender, fairy trail green hydrangeas. A lot of people have been asking how we're gonna protect the fairy trail green hydrangeas over the winter. And I, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this, and I think it will also help protect the urn. I think it will. This will go all the way over it. And because it has a drawstring, we'll pull that nice and tight. Maybe we'll have to, you know, secure it with stakes towards the ground if we need to. But this is going to give us protection so that those little tiny happy buds on the fairy trail green don't get And it. it's not solid plastic. 
It's not mm. like putting a tarp over it. This is breathable, permeable fabric. Correct. I believe it is water resistant because it is waxed, but it is not like putting a big plastic bag. We would not want to cover it with plastic. If we covered it with plastic, it would just suffocate the plants in the Ugh, earth. It could be so yucky in there too. And we don't want to do that. So this is going to be our solution for the Jensen urn. What's next, Eric? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. Oh, <laughs> oops. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I've got a couple of these things in my hand. They look like um, oh, I know what turkey legs. Are. Yeah, but they are not. They are the finial hose guides that we have around the garden because we have quite long hoses. Our hoses mm -hmm. are 100 feet long. And these are really pretty. They're simple, classic, heavy duty hose finials. These look really nice. We have them at the end of the patio area to keep the hoses from smashing plants. And we learned our lesson last season because we did smash a oh. tiny quick fire hydrangea, which has since recovered. It has. But we would have had more flowers if we hadn't crushed it. So these for us are a must have because in fall, you have to keep watering in our zone, mm -hmm. at least until Thanksgiving, especially things that are newly planted. The last two things in our box today should be the pop-up plant protectors. We have some in the size large and some in size extra large. And these are specifically for our big leaf hydrangeas in the ground. Correct. So this is very cool. When I saw these on the, uh, the website, I knew that we needed to give these a shot. Let me get the directions out of the way. What? Oh, they have a mesh top. Oh, okay. So they have to give them, oh. <laughs> uh, it, they are called the pop up planter for a reason, I guess. So, yes, they have a spring effect. And as you can see, they pop up, they slide right down. Let's pretend that this is the macro. Uh, let's pretend Eric is the macrophylla hydrangea. Okay. And there we go. And now he's protected for winter. The mesh topper is really good because it's going to, it oh, keeps I the warmth in and around. Oh, let's move this box since that's the last of our thing. And we'll go into more detail. On there this. you go. I really think these are going to be a big oh, hit. Oh, I see. And then this is the mesh top. And it goes on the toggles. That has these little, uh, yep, the little toggles with the elastic. So it's going to keep the heat of the earth and the warmth in because of the plastic sides. Oh, but you know what else you could do if you wanted is we could fill it with leaves mm -hmm. or compost or debris or whatever we wanted and then put the top on and it'll keep all of that in. Correct. And this is going to be the perfect this for size. Th for quite a few of the plants that we have in the garden right now, there's one other feature on this that I want to show you, Eric. Oh, okay. And that is up underneath these random pockets. Let me see if I can show you that correctly. I so was there's wondering what those were when you put it on my head. They're rock pockets. So you can put a rock or a brick in there and it's a, I mean, I guess you could, it'd be fine if it was on the, on the outside, but in this case, it's a little less unsightly. Oh, and there's also, I'm noticing toggles at the toggles bottom. for Stakes. landscape staples or whatever you want to do. Yeah. I'm excited about this. I think this is going to be very helpful. Now I'm going to let Eric open the next one. Let's see the size difference. Leave that one up here. Or maybe, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll figure it out. Just hold this away from your face as you do it. I'm going to hold it myself away from here. That, that is... is the extra large size. Oh my God. Okay. And the reason it's so big is this is going to go on bigger and taller plants. Look right through it. That is going on our sky views for sure. But how about this one? Did you know you could do this, Eric? You can toggle the little one onto the big oh. one. This is gonna take care of your Alberta spruces, anything that might get deer pressure or is just needs a little nudge. Oh yeah, they can stack or not stack. I will say these are much bigger in person than they look on their website. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of agree. They are much bigger. <laughs> let, like if I put this over here, let me just, I'll, way in the distance, right next to the Bobo Hydrangea. I mean, this is a good size product. We did order a couple of these, so we'll be able to protect a bunch of stuff. So this is going to go around the Let's Dance Sky Views. 
right? Oh, this has its own mesh too? Yeah. Nice. And then the other small ones I think are gonna go around the Let's Dance lovables. Perfect. So we can check that after we finish opening up our boxes and make sure that everything is right. Let's go check this out. So I'm thinking maybe we don't need the extra large one for this size. No, I, I think we do. I think, look, if you come up here, it's going to be the perfect size for a Let's Dance Sky View. Oh, it really is. Yeah. I can't believe how many blooms we have coming on this flower. There's a lot of blooms on there. Yeah, I think once all the leaves fall and the, the buds, the flowers are cut off this fall, the three, they'll just pop right on here. It's going to be, be perfect. so good. And, and then, then the smaller ones we got were for these Let's Dance lovables. And they'll just go right <laughs> over. You could almost put three of those lovables under an extra large one. You could maybe almost. almost. Wow. These are awesome. I'm really excited about these because I have fallen in love with the big leaf hydrangeas and I really want them to do well in our garden. And this is going to ensure that maximum success is achieved. The last plant protection measure that we have brought in for ourselves is actually for elevated planter boxes, the big elevated raised beds. We have them in three sizes. These are perfectly fitted covers. This is for the two by two box. It will slide down perfectly right over it and it has little ties that you can tie around the legs. The purpose of this is solely to extend the longevity of the planter boxes so that the stained wood lasts longer and doesn't go through too many wet cold snows. I remember when we first got the planters or we're even thinking about getting the planters, I had said to Christopher, I wonder if we should protect them in the winter mm -hmm. um, and how we would go about doing that. And I remember I'd come up with a plan and like something very similar to this. And I said to Christopher, I wish they made covers for them. And then lo and behold, they came out a with year covers. later, they came out with covers. So this is the two by two. I think this might, this, this is the two by four. And the two by eight is still in the box in the garage. Yes, we have those in the garage. We will have to take the arches and other plant supports off, which we're going to store tucked away. But I think this will be a nice way just to, just to ensure that the wood stays good as long as we can. And what is the material? Is it, It's a, like a waxed canvas again. Yes, this is a canvas. So this keeping plastic out of your garden, which we're always looking to do. But also I think if we used plastic, it would trap that moisture under there again, mm -hmm. which we wouldn't want to do, especially because they're in full sun. Yeah, and you know, we do have those strawberries in there. I wonder if this will protect the strawberries and they'll come back better next year. That's a good question. I don't know, but I, I am know. excited about these. It's actually a product I remember wishing they had, mm -hmm. and then lo and behold, now they have it. Unfortunately, fall is the number one time for weeds to like take root, <laughs> really take root. <laughs> fall is when you have to get after weeding in your garden the most. When you are the most tired and at the uh -huh. end you're like, oh, it, the days are getting shorter. You don't yeah. have as much time after work anymore. That's when you really have to get in your garden and take care of weeds. And one of the tools that we use to really get in there and take care of the weeds is this hoe. This is the Gardener's Lifetime Dutch Hand Hoe. They come in a left-handed and a right-handed version, although I find that I can go between hands with mm -hmm. this one. What's really cool, let me get right up in here. It's got kind of a hook action, and I'll tell you what, when you get this, it comes with a little um, protector because the blade is so sharp, but you can really use the corner and dig out annoying weeds, or you can just go right over the surface to get rid of grass and anything that you just want to get rid of before the season is over, you're back inside, there's snow, and those weeds are just sitting there waiting to take over in spring. You're gonna be so tempted to just leave the weeds and think they're gonna die off over the winter, and some of them will, mm -hmm. but not before they drop seeds. And then others are gonna be perennial and come back even stronger than they were. So get out there and weed this fall. This is a great tool for that. It's a dangerous <laughs> tool. Ooh. That's also a really good tool for edges if you don't have too much space to do and you want to do it on your hands and knees. More stubborn weeds. We have the Gardener's Lifetime Trowel, which we use for the planting, we use for weeding. It's a very versatile tool in the garden. I think sometimes we almost use it like a hoary hoary knife to just... Well, that's what I was going to say. This is what this reason I brought this back <laughs> is because this is... I just used it the other day when we were transplanting the aster 
Oh, yes, yes. I just chopped it in half because this is very sharp around the edges here. And when you're transplanting and you want to just chop in half, this comes in very handy. This is the Gardener's Supply Lifetime Trowel. That's a use I hadn't even considered for it. Yeah, it is a very pointy and tool. sharp. There it is. So um, speaking of pointy and sharp, we have one more must have tool for you going into the fall. This is the short T handled garden fork. What I like this for lifting your dahlias, lifting your cannas, lifting anything that you want to transplant where you're afraid of cutting too many roots off mm -hmm. or piercing tubers. You know, you can really get in there. It's nice and sharp, um, but you can lift as opposed to scooping with a yeah, handy Yeah, we shovel. actually use a star as our potatoes. Oh yeah, and you can harvest your potatoes as well. <laughs> but I like this too. And like this handle, it's really sturdy, fits in the hand really well. And they're heavy duty tools. If you have problems with this, you bring it back to Gardener Supply or send it to them mm. and they will replace it. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, we will be installing and using all of these garden supplies as the season progresses. So stay tuned for that. We'll be sure to take you along for the journey. And thank you, Gardener Supply. Again, I'm Eric. And I'm Christopher. And we're Grow For Me Gardening. Thanks for growing with us.